Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I am going to get into a quick video on what the difference between a computer and a server is. It comes from this question. I'll answer the rest of this in another time, but for now I want to mention that because I know a lot of people have that particular question. So the main thing to understand with a computer versus server is a server serves but a computer uses. And what this basically means is you can take any computer and make it into a server. So for example, in that particular question, it's going to be a FTP server. So a file transfer protocol server. And basically you can set it up where the files can transfer to, but basically that computer, it will be able to take in files and people can take it from that computer and that can be in itself a server or you can have as a media storage server or something to this nature but it's technically also a computer because you can literally have someone while it's being used as a server you can literally have someone playing on the computer doing whatever on the computer as if nothing's happening at all depending on the resources um, so basically a computer it can easily become a server, a server can easily be a computer, but in most cases a lot of people think of servers being like the ones in enterprise level. The difference there is those normally won't be used as computers because the resources on them, they're not as good as normal computers. That's actually uh, a lot of people, they think servers, business servers, are a lot better than normal, your computer that you're probably on right now. This is actually not the case. Most of the servers, they d depend on what they're being used for, is depend on the case. They, some of them might be better, but a lot of them, what you'll find is they'll have more spaces for RAM. So like on a uh, normal computer, you might have maybe 30 gigabytes of RAM at most, but normally around uh, maybe eight or 16 normally, if, if it's a gaming system. But um, as far as a server, uh, enterprise server, it's uh, normally within the 100 to 100 plus gigabytes as far as the RAM goes. So it's, uh, you know, it, it's not like you'll have on a normal computer. And, and the reason is, is you got multiple computers that are um, jump on to the server to get information or to process certain information or to do something of this nature. Uh, a lot of cases, the enterprise level, uh, you'll find that a lot of those servers, their processor is worse than what you have in your computer, and it has almost, it just has barely a graphics card at all. It's not made to play games on. It's made, okay, if you need, as a tech support, you need to jump onto it to fix something, fine. But beyond that, it's that's it um so it's not really made to look at pictures and all the other crap so that's a big thing in fact some servers are command prompt um so that's thing to note uh, a lot of them that i played with and stuff are windows servers and you can even tell there it's it's uh, not really meant to do nothing now, with that being said, some servers can potentially be better depending on what they uh, they actually have within them and, and what they're used for, for like gaming and stuff of this nature, um, which things are going to go down that path in the future where you're going to have something that's called a a uh, white box. And, and uh, that that's taught for another day, but basically what will end up happening is you'll have a computer, a blank computer that has a little bit of RAM, a crap graphics, a crap processor, just enough to get on the internet. It's kind of like a Chromebook. And um, all your actual processing and stuff like that is going to be on some server somewhere else that you don't know about. It's going to be cloud computing. And um, you're going to see more of that in the future. I don't think that we're close to that right now i think we're probably about 
uh, 10, 15 years off of that. So maybe more depending on the internet, which is the holdup, believe it or not. But as far as that goes, that's a case where you use a server with high grade stuff. But normally that's, you're not gonna have that. It's just simply, simply, it's just not needed. So you're gonna have worse stuff on the actual servers. The reason why they cost more is because you gotta have better reliability. Um, and on top of that, you simply need to have more RAM, more of this, more of that. So it's better, it's, it's a specialized thing, but but you're still gonna, even if it's gonna have normal amount of RAM and stuff, it's still gonna have, um, to be able to be reliable because you're hopefully going to put it in a room, walk away from it for a couple of years and come back to it type of thing. Um, that's just how things are. But anyways, that's uh, hopefully that helps anyone out there. You know, to any of those servers, enterprise level, even still, they can be turned to or used as a computer if you got a proper operating system on it. But... Um, Normally you wouldn't because again the, the resources on is just not there to use as a regular computer. Um, now as far as the operating systems and software and stuff that like that, the uh, operating system like if you played with um, the latest Windows version server operating system, you'll find that it's pretty much Windows 8. Um, they hadn't updated it for the Windows 10 stuff yet, but basically it's pretty much Windows 8. It just has more abilities onto it. It has just more things onto it for server-wise, and it's meant to be used as a server, but in all intents and purposes, it is pretty much Windows 8 with server abilities on top of it. Um, same thing with Linux servers and stuff of this nature is it's really just the same operating system. It just has more abilities onto it. Now with Linux servers more than not, you're going to find more of them being in a terminal fashion. I personally hate that. Many people hate that because one word off, one, one letter off, one thing off can re wreck something. Um, a you um, user graphical interface. It's easier to play with. You you don't really have to worry about messing up. Have to be right 100% of the time. And because of that, it's, uh, a lot of people are gonna stay with the, from those terminals. But um, there is that. So I, I just want to note that for anyone who uh, is curious. But anyways, hopefully that helps anyone. And um. Leave a like, subscribe, share, and whatnot, and I'll see you in future videos. Hope you have a great day.